that date. It might be that I want to see what happened from that date or when something happened from what date to the current date. When did it go wrong and troubleshoot in that way? The static backup files are better to do that uh, with. Also, if you have an online course like we're doing here, then the static backup files possibly can be used to jump forward in our practice problem, for example, allowing you to have the exact data that we have on our side without having to work through a very long practice problem in order to get there. So from a practice standpoint, from a sandbox standpoint and that kind of stuff, the static backup files are actually still have a lot of advantages over the online storage on the server, advantages that possibly are not simply just the losing of the data, but rather using the, the backup files in other ways that can be very useful. So the desktop version, as I mentioned with the backup and multiple company files, those being the major reasons, the desktop version is great to practice with. So it's great for a course like, even if, even if they got rid of the desktop version, which again, they're gonna keep the, the, the enterprise version, you would think, so it's still good to practice with and will be in use because the enterprise version has the same layout in essence as the other desktop version. It just has more functionality in certain areas. But even if they got rid of all of it, it would still be a great tool to, uh, to practice with because of the fact that you can have multiple files, because of the fact that we can restore these backup files to a certain point in the practice problem. Take that online, desktops not KO'd yet, just through like an ado a kick on. Hold on, I got in the Street Fighter. In any case, the desktop has a consistent design, whereas the online version has a changing design. Either of these can be seen as a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it. But from the desktop perspective, even if you go back many years into the past and look at the layout of the desktop version, it will look quite similar to the layout currently in 2024. So from a consistency standpoint, that's great because you know where things are located and that's not going to change all that much. Whereas with the online version, it's changing all the time. Advocates of the online version would say, that their ability to change it because it's a web-based type software allowing them to do kind of a b type of testing helps them to optimize the layout of the online uh, website and make changes to improve it so again there's pros and cons with it in my opinion i've used the desktop version for a long time the layout system is well laid out in my opinion it has the drop downs that are similar to what you saw in microsoft word before they had the ribbon with the online version. The layout is fine as well, but it has changed a lot. And some of the changes you can argue as to whether they're being optimized changes or they're kind of catering to a certain audience. They've changed things like the terminology, for example. They often move buttons around and whatnot. So hopefully they get to a position where they find the ideal or optimized uh, website but my feeling is that they're never going to get there because the developers always want to make changes. They get paid to make changes to the website. So I think that might be driving the fact that they're making changes basically for changes sake. So I think it's always been a good, it's always been easy to use in my opinion, but you have to basically deal with the fact that they're going to move stuff around from time to time. They're going to name things differently and you just go with the flow, man. Everything, the functionality will still be there, but it might be located somewhere else and they might be using some new trendy language for a time period and whatnot and and that's the way it goes desktop version enterprise may fit special needs like inventory tracking better so with the desktop version you have certain things that the desktop version is better at one of them might be the inventory tracking we'll talk about some of the specializations with the desktop version which might be more applicable to certain types of industries as they get larger typically right so that's why the enterprise version of the desktop doesn't look like it's really in danger of being canceled whereas the non-enterprise or the or the standard QuickBooks for smaller companies is the one where more questions come up as to what is happening with Intuit based on kind of like their marketing strategy, which clearly seems to be guaranteed people and steering people in that section of the market towards the online. So uh, with the online also has its own special kind of cases, which we'll look at in a second. It's really good with integrations oftentimes because it's a web-based software and with the bank feeds are, are things that it's quite good at 
uh, more difficult to work from different locations. So if you're uh, getting the desktop version, it's gonna be on your computer. So it's located on your computer and therefore it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to work remotely. Whereas the online version being cloud-based is gonna be easier to log in remotely. Now, again, there's pros and cons with this because if you're in a bigger company with a desktop version, you might be able to set it up so that you could still have remote access to the to, to it, even though it's gonna be on a server, for example, or something like that, or on a, a static computer, as opposed to on Intuit's servers. Uh, whereas the online is on the Intuit servers and therefore it's going to, you, the hub point is gonna be on the Intuit servers. Uh, some people would probably argue that the desktop version is more secure, that it's not on the Intuit servers if you have a solid kind of setup process because uh, they would have to actually hack into your computer basically to get access to uh, your files. Whereas if you're on the online version, you would think that if they can log into your account, then they can get into your file. So the, the server if of Intuit is secure, but you want to make sure you have the double multi-factor authentication and all that kind of stuff set up so that people can't access your account that way by basically having the password uh, and, and uh, that kind of thing. Also, uh, you have to be careful, of course, connecting to the cloud-based software from Wi-Fi areas and, 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 and that kind of thing. So even if you want to do that, you want to be careful of accessing your data from like a coffee shop. You want to make sure you have the VPN and, and all that kind of stuff if you're accessing sensitive information from uh, different locations. Whereas if you're on a desktop version, I think it works quite well if you just do your bookkeeping and you just have it on your computer so that you're not accessing it from 